It is my true and honest delight and privilege to present the Lucy Award for Innovation and in Television to my luminously brilliant friend, Tracy Ellis Ross. Oh my god, that was so awkward. Oh my god. Okay, Aisha, what I mean, seriously? <sighs> Thank you. I love you. I love you. I'm just glad I was able to make the entire speech like a big gay metaphor. <sighs> okay, that was really awesome. And um, yeah, we did. We just had a conversation. Hi everybody. We just had a conversation about what it is um, as you are this person that you want to be out in the world, being as big as you are meant to be and as true as you are, and how you then at the same time learn to take care of yourself. You know, in patriarchy, um, that was not a part of the balance that had been established. And so how do we find our way with that? Um, and we were just having that conversation about saying no and how appropriate it is. And then I asked you. So thanks. <clears throat> Women in film, like I have a really special place in my heart for this organization. It was really awkward sitting there because I hosted three years ago. I've been here. Um, Jane Fleming, who is a dear friend of mine and one of the people that holds me up, um, the last year that you were president was the first year that I came to this event. Um, Iris Grossman, I don't know where you are, where are you? Hi, Iris. Hi. It's Iris. <laughs> Iris was my agent for many years, and I love you dearly, and thank you for making this moment happen, and for all of the support and love that you've shown me throughout my career. Um, I never get a chance uh, to say Rachel Carton. Um, you know, publicists, you do a lot and you hold hands. <laughs> you hold my hand, Rachel. You check if there's boogers in my nose. <laughs> um, you just, you hold me when I'm scared and when I call freaking out and I just thank you for being a part of my team. Thank you. Um, Adrian Jameson um, is a woman that was my friend and now is like my partner and like <laughs> helps me figure so much out, and I think I talk to you more than anybody else in life, which is crazy, but true. Um, she helps me with all my digital and does all the hard stuff. Um, and so thank you. But I wanna get into what's really, and women in film, just thank you for all of the work that you do. Um, it is incorporated in what I will say. Um, Kathy and all of you, like I just, this is such a special room, um, and it has been every time I've come, and to be standing here in this moment is like, <gasps> So when I think back at my love affair with television, <clears throat> which started very young, I realized that the women I saw on TV helped me to feel empowered, strong, joyful, bold, free, equal, and human. These women not only pointed me in that direction, but they pointed me in my direction. I didn't get here by accident. I mean, some of my early faves were Lucy, duh. <laughs> Elegant, zany, big-eyed, and dazzling. Carol Burnett, fearless, absurd, beautiful, ridiculous, and generous. Lily Tomlin, subversive, hilarious. The 70s version of Wonder Woman. <laughs> Sexy, strong, in control, a protector. 
the bionic woman. She could leap buildings and lift cars. Kate Nally, do you guys remember Kate Nally? I'm 44, just to give you guys reference on where I'm, I'm going. Best friends living their lives and running their world solo. Cagney and Lacey, badass, kick-ass women who happen to be cops. I could go on and on, but you see how these images must have influenced the little glasses wearing me. I found parts of me in all of these women, and sometimes it felt like looking in a mirror and knowing I was not alone, and with others I discovered parts of myself that I didn't know were there, and I also saw things I knew I wasn't, but I aspired to be. Watching these women inhabit every inch of this, their space, not just the real estate that women were relegated to, offered me comfort and courage, showed me what was possible, but most importantly, that I was many, many things. We women are many things, but the worldview of women is not elastic in its ability to see us expansively. And that said, <clears throat> there is, excuse me, <clears throat> There is a lot of beautiful complexity currently on television right now. The wi <laughs> I'll keep going. The wi Oh, I mean, this is like great. <laughs> You're such a good friend. Okay. The women of Queen Sugar, Maggie Siff on Billions. I, I mean, I'm just going to name a couple. Phoebe Waller-Bridge on Fleabag. Uh, hello. Dear white people, Logan, um, Catherine Hahn and the women of I Love Dick, Journey Smollett, Aisha Hines on Underground, Elizabeth Moss and The Handmaid's Tale, uh, the women of Big Little Lies. There is some great stuff happening on television right now, and at the same time, there is work to be done on the representation of black women on television and how women of color are represented in media overall. As black women specifically, we are often objectified, over-sexualized, and sassified. I really like that word, I made that up. <laughs> um, so to see Bo, my character on Blackish, as something other than that on a hit mainstream TV show is really important. <laughs> she is still a sitcom wife, and she could just be wife wallpaper, a prop in her husband's world, and yet she isn't. She is joyful, and not joyful just because she's happy to be cooking dinner, washing dishes, or loving her husband, but joyful because she is embodying the fullness of her own life. I've said it before, but I just feel like it bears repeating. Women are not defined by who we are in relationship to. We are valuable and powerful and, and entertaining just because we are. Bo is a representation of that, and she is today's woman. She exists in the humanity that surrounds us in communities across America. But what is so interesting to me about Bo is her selfhood. Not just her motherhood, her jobhood, or her wifehood, but that she is a self with all of those parts. She is rare as a sitcom wife, and especially rare as a black woman on television. To be a part of reshaping what it is to be a modern woman through the face and beingness of a joyful black woman is really special. It was mentioned, but again, I do believe it bears repeating, not because of the personal feeling that it gave to me, which was really interesting and wonderful, but because of the larger context with which it really left a lasting impression. The fact that I was the first black woman to be nominated for an Emmy for a lead actress in a comedy in 30 years, coupled with the fact that I was the first black woman to be nominated and to win a Golden Globe for Best Actress in a Comedy in 32 years is something to ponder. Why are black women underrepresented in the stories that get told? That question is not just a question for black women. So, <laughs> Thank you, women in film.
for advocating for systemic change that promises an inclusive future. And I just want to say that again, because systemic change is like, you got to couple it with both. It's got to happen on both sides. Um, so for advocating for systemic change that promises an inclusive future and for including me in this much needed and important work. Because of comedy, before I finish, I just want to say, Max Mara, what? Because of comedy and the courage of the women who have paved the way, I know what it feels like to spread my wings as wide as I'd like and live in places that others are afraid to go. And it feels really good. And I thank you, women in film and everybody. Okay, no, oh. Actually, um, Tracy, yeah. uh, there's one more little part of this evening, like another special message to you that you we just want to play. There's just one more thing. Okay. Because yeah, we're just going to hang out up here. Are Have you some joking? water. Have some water. I brought you some water. Okay. I'm a really good friend. I'm okay, let's watch, let's just watch the video. Hey, Tracy, congratulations. I am so incredibly proud of you for receiving the Women in Film Lucy Award for Excellence in Television. You are brilliant, you're hilarious, you're one of the most talented actors I know, and your character on Blackish Bow is an inspiration for folks all across this country. And the work you're doing off screen is just as remarkable. From empowering our girls, to educating people about the importance of voting, thank you, thank you for using your voice to change so many lives. And congratulations again on this well-deserved honor. See you on the dance floor. Oh my goodness gracious! Goodbye! <laughs>